All right, so we're with Coach Chris Drury, head coach of the baseball team. Coach, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Great, great opportunity. And uh, so we'll start off at looking at the beginning of the season. Nationally ranked for the first time in school's history. What, how do you feel about that? That's awesome. You know, uh, it means a lot for our players. It means a lot for the program. Um, you know, the guys that have been with the program since day one, like myself and Coach Bergman, who played here and then obviously is coaching here, it means a lot. And then, uh, you know, we had baseball, you know, for 30 years, from the 40s to the 70s. And... Uh, We've heard a lot from our alumni about how, how much it means to them because baseball was really a secondary sport at the time. And uh, for us to get some national recognition, it means a lot to the alumni. So it, it's great for us. And uh, after you ranked number 26, you won 15 straight games. After that, you won a school record 18. You won a school record 18 games, ranked now on 18th in the ABCA poll. How's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> it feels good, but it puts a little bit of a bullseye on you. Um, you mm -hmm. know, everybody gears up for those teams. We used to be the, the, the team that would gear up to play those teams that were ranked, and, and now the, the shoe's on the other foot. So, um, you know, it, it's a great experience for our guys. It, it just means we have to make sure that we're prepared to play because, in all honesty, the numbers don't really mean anything. There's, there's probably three or four voters that have ever seen us play. So, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a great uh, reward for what our players have done, but they just have to keep playing the, the way they can. And with the guys on the team, are they paying attention to the uh, to all the accolades too? Are they getting yeah, big hands Yeah, you know how they are today. I, I, and I'm not very old, but I was telling them, boy, I wish we had never invented this internet thing. And and because uh, you know they get on there, they, they start to read about themselves. And, and uh, we've had to knock them back down to earth a couple times in practice. So you know they, they get the message, and it's great that they can get the accolades and, and all the achievements that we've received and the rewards we've received. But they are what they are and you know it's at the end of the season that's really going to matter and that's what people are going to remember. Uh, let's take a look at practice for a second. Uh, it's been really nice here. I mean like probably the nicest <laughs> it's been in a few years outside. No, <laughs> yeah exactly and uh, so how is that playing outside as opposed to like taking ground balls in the gym or doing uh, that in practice? You know we practice so long in, inside the gymnasium at the beginning of the year. I mean we practice from the last week of January to that first week of March inside. Um, we try to avoid being inside as much as we possibly can. Um, now we're at the point where if it doesn't, if it only rains, then, uh, then we'll be all right. And uh, we hate being inside. You know, it really is. Having nice weather like this is, is very, very good for us. And uh, with the guys in practice, what are some of the things that have, uh, like, you know, really that you think have done well with the team, keeping them down to earth and all type of stuff? You know, we, we just we do a lot of different motivational things, and, and we have so many guys that played for us now that know what we expect from our players. I mean, we have Mike Bergman who played and pitched for me for four years, but we have Zach, Zach Welch, Matt Dalen, Coach Butler's been around forever, and Billy Davis, and they all played here, so they all understand exactly what we want from our players. So the coaches don't really, or the players don't have to hear me yell at them all the time. So now they know that when I say something, okay, we probably need to perk up a little bit. Whereas the other guys can kind of be the really, really nice coaches, and now I can just come in when I need to come in, as opposed to before when it was just me or just me and one assistant coach. So I think that really helps because the players don't block me out as much. You know, in all honesty, once you hear somebody talk for so long, you block them out. And, uh, you know, I don't have to talk unless I really need to say something, which is great for them, I think. And uh, finally, you're moving into conference play now. You had a lot of success non-conference, non-league games. Now you're heading into league games. You face New Pulse already, uh, also Oneana. And what's your approach heading from non-league into conference games? Yeah, I mean, the, we, we try to, to play the same type of baseball, but the, the competition is definitely going to be better. I mean, our conference is probably, it's unarguably the toughest conference in, in the New York region. Um, you know, the Liberty League is tough, but our conference has had much more success than them. Um, you know, so our, our conferences from top to bottom is really, really good. In years past, you know, there was always one or two teams that you knew you were going to beat. We don't have that anymore. I mean, New Paltz has gotten progressively better the last couple of years. Not that they didn't give us trouble before, but the last couple of years they've given us a lot more trouble. And then this year even, uh, you know, I was talking to a couple of coaches yesterday and Oswego has gotten better. You know, in, in the last couple of years we've been able to look at those teams and say, all right, we're probably going to win those games. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I don't know that we can say that now. I mean, it, it's just a lot harder for us where we, we don't have the gimmies anymore. And the way the schedule's set up, it's just a little more difficult for us because we always play four conference games and our opponents only play two. So, yeah. um, you know, it makes it harder. We just tell our players to control what they can control and, and uh, don't worry about anything else. And, and they have been taking control on the field. Uh, in first uh, conference games you play against New Pulse, the doubleheader. Both games 
team kind of inched back their way <laughs> into the game. You know? So, I mean, what does yeah. that say about the team? Well, you know, I mean, one of the things that we always want in, in the players we bring in is, is the fighting attitude. We, won't, we don't want guys that are just going to roll over and die. I think in both games <laughs> that day, you know, we were able to, uh, to fight back. And I, I think it says a lot about our character. Um, you know, our offense kept fighting and fighting, and, and our starting pitching wasn't very good that day, but our starting pitching had been good the first 20 games of the season. So, you know, they're going to have a bad day. We just wish it hadn't been a conference day. And hopefully we can get Matt and Dan back on track to pitch, you know, the way they can pitch. And, mm -hmm. you know, we did get some good things out of the Saturday games. I mean, Justin Besaw and Corey Johnston came in and did a great job in long relief for us. And, uh, you know, so, so they were able to do some stuff for us. And, and hopefully it will build everybody's, uh, it will put everybody in a little better situation to compete the rest of the season. Yeah. And uh, when you went to Oneana, um, that was uh, last, that was Sunday. Sunday. Yep. And you had, uh, you had another doubleheader, split the doubleheader again. Mm -hmm. And what was that like going on? Sunday's doubleheader was, you know, I mean, we knew going in we were going to see the, the best pitcher in the conference, the Dave Felak. And, uh, you know, with that game, we just wanted to keep it close. And we, we were we able to keep it close early. It was 4-1 to one in the fifth inning. And then we made an error and a misplay on a couple balls in the bottom of the fifth inning. And that made it 8-1. to one. And, and, you know, to overcome seven runs off a kid throwing in the mid-90s is tough. Um, you know, we needed to keep it close. We were able to knock him out after that, that sixth inning, which is what our plan was, but we weren't planning to be down by seven. So, yeah. so the first game we kind of blew. Uh, second game we got a great pitching out of from Tyler Green. I mean, he, he competed hard for us, and, and in between games I challenged the pitchers a little bit. I don't really talk to the pitchers very much. Coach Bergman is in charge of the pitchers, and uh, in between games I, I went down and gave them some words of wisdom, as I would like to tell it, and uh, Tyler answered the call for us. And, you know, it's always easier to play defense and to, and to bat for somebody who you know out on the mound has, is wearing their emotions on their sleeve. And he let them know what he wanted. And uh, we got a great outing, and hopefully we can get some more from him. And uh, well, with the pitching staff, you have Matt Burns behind the plate for most of the games. How is he influential to this pitching yeah. staff? You know, Matt's done a, a, a great job for us. He came in as a high school shortstop. He was a backup infielder for us his first two years. And, as a junior, we got him behind the plate a little bit, and uh, he really worked hard to become a catcher. And, and he's a solid catcher for us. Is he the best catcher in the league? No, but he, he's, he's a very good catcher for us. Um, he does what we need him to do, and he works the pitchers pretty hard, and he, he keeps everybody in the game, that's for certain. Um, you know, you always have to have a catcher that's a little fiery type and can get into guys' faces and yell at them every now and again, and, and Matt's that type of guy. But Matt expects a lot from himself. And, uh, and in turn, he expects a lot from everybody else. So you, you always want that type of guy on the field. And if it's a catcher, that's even better. And uh, you, have, you have three like, main guys driving in runs up, Bouye, Shaughnessy, and Coolidge. Um, how are they at the top of this lineup? You know, the, the top five hitters in our lineup, I mean, it really starts with Presto and Rose, are, you know, the top two spots. If those guys can get on base, then we're going to score runs. And, you know, the way Torrey, Pat, and, and Donnie are swinging the bat in the middle of the lineup, I mean, if we can get guys on base, they're going to score. Um, you know, the other thing those five guys do is they, they run the bases pretty well. You know, it might not be a stolen base. It might be a ball in the dirt where they advance a base. It might be a, an overthrow. It might be a bad play by the outfielder. Um, but those five guys are really the key to our offense. We need those five guys to, to get going. And then uh, the guys that we put in at the bottom of the lineup just need to be able to turn over the lineup either with, that, with walks, hit by pitches, and things of that nature. And, and that's really what happened on Saturday. I mean, the bottom of our lineup, we just did everything we needed them to do and get to the top of the lineup and we can score some runs. And uh, look at the upcoming games. This weekend, maybe, maybe barring on weather concerns, you might have uh, four games in two days. How do you delegate the pitching staff between those four days? You know, the, the pitching games? staff is, you know, it basically determines itself. I mean, we know who the top four guys are right now. I mean, that's going to be uh, some sort of combination of Matt O'Leary, Dan Tracy, uh, Tyler Green, who's pitched great for us lately, and Mark Plomp. You know, those four guys are going to be the conference starters. And, uh, you know, who they pitch against, I'm, I'm not really certain yet. We'll take a look at, at what the other teams are going to do. And, and the weather and who's umpiring might, might factor into the decision as to who's going to pitch.